Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Deal's Prime Review channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a live and 2 benchmark test of the uh, Team G Super 8 E1 Octa-Core 8-Core type of PC. This is the first of its kind. It has 3G phone calling, uh, 3G WCMA broadband and it also supports quadband GSM phone calling. And uh, we just now checked out, uh, we just now finished, actually finished part 2 review, which is in-depth. We did some web browsing, checked out the pre-installed apps, and uh, in this review we're just going to do an Antutu, live Antutu benchmark test. So uh, just stay with me as, uh, as I'm going to, uh, okay, so we're, gonna, we're inside Antutu right now, I want to start the test. So this is going to be a live Antutu benchmark test. Um, this is actually a pamphlet of uh, of the of the Super 8. It's actually the E1. Is the code name? And uh, just uh, real quick, it uh, it's running on a Samsung Shinos 5410 quad core CPU. Uh, sorry, octa core CPU. Running Android 4.2.2, 2 gigabyte DDR3, 16 gigabyte ROM, 1280 by 800 pixel resolution. IPS screen, 2 megapixel camera on the front, 8 megapixels on the back, 4400 milliamp battery, 3 rated at 3.7 volts, and it has uh, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi Fi, 3G, GPS slash NFC, HDMI port, USB 3.0, oh, oh, so that's what it is, micro USB 3.0 port, TF card slot, and a SIM card slot. So, uh, we're just about halfway through this uh, benchmark, and uh, we'll see what type of awesome score this gets. So I would show you the back of the unit, but it basically looks like this. It's almost reminiscent of the uh, Hyundai T7, or the T7S. <clears throat> so again, this is the first octa-core tablet PC. Supports 3G phone calling, 3G WCDMA, GSM, so it's basically all in one. Anything that you'd want in a tablet. The one thing that we do need to confirm is that it has built in GPS because in this model right here, it doesn't look like it has it. But again, this is only a prototype unit. So uh, make sure to take this time to uh, like our video. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, there should be a product link to this uh, Team G Super 8 E1 tablet PC in our YouTube video description. Check out part one, we show you the free YouTube promo gift. Uh, part two in depth, and this is part three live review. We may also do a 3G review if people want us to, so if you want to see that, please request it on our YouTube uh, channel. Okay, so the results are in. It gets a whopping uh, 25,329. <laughs> this is the first 20,000 20, plus uh, template that I've reviewed. So the CPU, 9569. GPU, 9863. RAM, 4996. IO901, 1280 by 800 pixel resolution screen. Oh no, those, this is a, the the CPUs. Okay, so awesome. And uh, so there it is in big, uh, big, big numbers. And uh, here's the uh, system info, device info. Sinus 5410, quad core CPU. And uh, we'll just uh, scroll through the uh, system info. So it's uh, clocks in at 1.6 gigahertz, 1280 by 800 pixel resolution on screen. GPU power VR SGX 544. Uh, one gigab two gigabytes RAM with 1.138 free, but it's actually 1.4 as we saw in uh, the in-depth review. 16 gigabyte RAM with 12.7 uh, free. Uh, 8 megapixel camera, 7.7 .7 megapixels, and the front camera is 2 megapixels, and this was last updated on uh, 
September 8th, right here, 2013. So uh, this concludes our uh, live Antutu benchmark test. We'll show you the back. 8 megapixel camera here, 3G and phone uh, and GSM card slot here. Make sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, check out part one where we show you the free gift, part two in depth. The product, uh, the Team G Super 8 E1 product link is inside our YouTube uh, video description and the video should all be embedded. So uh, thanks for watching, like our video, and we'll see you next time.